All right, folks. Let's rate the history and the vehicles on offer in the bond shop as of April 2024. Now, in my personal opinion, the bond shop is one of the best features in World of Tanks. It gives free-to-play players a chance at a premium tank without actually spending money, but the vehicles are mostly mediocre at best to bottom of the barrel, so kinda crap due to the meta and being power crap. So you won't find a BZ-176 or EBR or Shiguda T-56 in the list. People will riot, but there are a few good ones. So let's go through the history. The Bond Shop debuted back in 2019, and there are 7 different iterations of the Bond Shop. So initial debut has more vehicles than later editions, so most plentiful for the first round, but let's just go through the list. So WZ-121B, it's a very good vehicle, like a 6, 6.5 out of 10. Accurate L7 gun on a Chinese platform, Russian tank-esque of a platform. So the worst thing about this vehicle is the gun depression, and that is mostly it. Decent enough mobility, armor is alright, concealment is fine enough, view range is also fine, so nothing too bad about this vehicle, but 15,000 bonds for this thing. Oh. It is the same with the M60. You could get it from Clan Wars for cheaper, but what if you don't play Clan Wars, right? So, uh, I would still say decent if you have the bonds, but it's like a maybe 5 out of 10. So, also the same with the M60, 5 out of 10. If you have the bonds, it is still kind of expensive, but the vehicle's, the vehicle's decent, right? The vehicle's fine for that much bonds, but... M60 Patton has better accuracy while moving than the WZ-121B. Doesn't have as much DPM, but more comfortable of a gun handling compared to the Chinese vehicle. Faster revving up speed as well, so that's also pretty nice, but less camo, dramatically less camo, and better view range. Actually, about the same view range, surprisingly, but this thing needs more armor. <laughs> It needs a space armor package, at least on the turret front, but it got buffed, replaced the M1 cupola with the Iridan cupola on the M48. That would also be great, but yeah, this thing is more of a sniper than an actual versatile heavy tank. Medium tank, medium heavy tank. <laughs> it is still decent for 15,000 bonds if you don't play Clan Wars. So I still say it's fine. It's a good vehicle. Also a 6, 6.5 out of 10, but for the offer, not bad. It's all right. Oh, this thing. FV-25B. <laughs> this thing needs a buff. Holy crap. It needs a Super Conqueror treatment. Uh, the turret is not as strong. The hull is not as strong. It is not as fast and carries less ammo than the Super Conqueror. So the gun's accurate. The DPM's great. You need more ammo, and you need faster mobility, so it is alright. I mean, it's a tech tree vehicle. <laughs> they turn into a freaking collector's vehicle in a sense, but 12,000 bonds for a tech tree tank in a sense before it got replaced. Feels kind of bad, right? <laughs> I have a skin model, so this thing doesn't really have space armor on the whole front. It's only a skin, but yeah, it's not the greatest. Actually, it is one of the worst tier 10 heavy tanks in the game. So it's more like a medium tank without camo. It is also slow for 12,000 bonds. Nah, that's still kind of hefty. But then again, the recent WZ 114 is 11,000 bonds, <laughs> surprisingly. So I said the offer is more like 4 out of 10. The vehicle is not great. Maybe 3.5 out of 10. If they buff this vehicle, it'll be a solid 4. Maybe a 5, but yeah, 4 out of 10. Alright, AMX M4 Liberté and the uh, Patriot Jumbo Pershing. They're twins, in a sense. Came out about the same time on the Super Test, but this thing is one of the best, in my opinion, of a Tier A Premium in the Bond Shop. It is... Practically a medium tank, so plays like a medium tank. It plays like the 
the Renegade, except you have a 90mm, not a 105. But DPM is decent, gun depression, turret armor is strong enough. It is more like a medium tank, medium heavy, but I feel this thing might be better in terms of performance of a gun than something of an object 252U. So I would still say this is a good choice for the first bond tank, bond shop tank you're going to get. So 8,000 bonds, pretty good. I would say Jumbo Pershing is like a 7 out of 10. It's one of the gooder, gooder better choices. <laughs> as for the Liberté, not as good. Liberté is, mm, has the armor, but there is a tumor on top and the vehicle is not as capable as with the Patriot, the Jumbo Pershing, but that's uh, good. It's okay. I mean, the vehicle is not half bad, but I think you'll have a better time with the Jumbo Pershing. This thing is obviously not as fast as the Jumbo Pershing. It's for a premium tank at 8,000 bonds. If you like the French, then might as well. The downside to it is the cupola is big. The cupola is huge on this thing. And the alpha punch of the gun is not as crazy as you would think. So DPM is not as high, but uh, this is like a 5.5. It's not half bad as a crew trainer or a credit maker, but nah. Oh, actually that's mutts. <laughs> Wrong vehicle. As for the mutts, Panzer 58. No, this thing needs a power buff. Surprisingly, all the vehicles or most of the vehicles on the bond shop list could be a template for vehicles that needs a buff. This is one of them. Doesn't even compare to uh, something like a Kampfpanzer 07RH. Doesn't even compare. So it is okay enough as sniping, but that's the only thing going for it. Doesn't have the mobility as a 07RH. Doesn't have the DPM as that vehicle, but... Penetration is average nowadays, alpha average nowadays, accuracy aim time also average, gun depression is decent but armor is not really there, view range eh okay not really crazy but yeah it's pretty bland of a premium tank nowadays. If this thing was a tier 7 then we can talk but no it's a, <laughs> it's a tier 8, this thing needs a buff. I think better engine power or better top speed would be one of it. Better accuracy, better DPM, or give it a little bit more alpha, like 280 or something. But I don't know how you would buff this thing other than beyond historical accuracy. Uh, it doesn't feel as good as with the M4 AMX. Feels 4.5 ish. I mean, still better than. The FE 25B, all right. STG Guard, it is better than the Mutts. This gun performs a little bit better because of the alpha damage. Downside to this thing is it's not as mobile. Eh, it still collects dust nowadays. I rarely play this thing compared to maybe the 274A, in a sense, if you want the alpha. But this thing is categorized as a sniper. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, it is uh, 122, does pack the punch, DPM is still not the craziest, camo is better than average, but view range is slightly below average. Uh, it's like a 5, Yeah, feels 5 out of 10-ish, compared to, yeah, compared to uh, M4, AMX M4, feels like a 5 out of 10. Oh, Panzer IV Hydrostat. <laughs> this thing could have gotten... Could it be gone for free? If you've been playing on the North America server for a long time, it's a whatever tank. So, electric drive for the transmission, I think. Historical accuracy, questionable. But horsepower to ratio on this thing is crap. This vehicle is for 3,000 bonds too, compared to 1.5 for a T34 shielded or the RBFM Wolverine. Uh, it's. It's not worth one. It's not worth 3,000 bonds, no. It's twice as much as other tier 5 counterparts, no. No, this thing is like a 2 out of 10. No. 
No, no way. Yeah, three thousand bonds for a freaking Panzer 4 Hydra stat. No. All right, T34 shielded and the RBFM. Both vehicles could be gotten for free. See, T34 shielded. This was one of the anniversary gift or the Kursk anniversary thing, but it's a T34 or space armor. Uh, nothing crazy to say about these vehicles. I mean, it's a decent enough of a medium tank, and 1.5 thousand bonds is not that much, but kind of feels bad if you left out during the anniversary event. Right? It could be gotten for free and you're paying actual bonds for it, so it doesn't feel as good of a choice, but definitely better than the Hydrostat. It's a lot cheaper than the Hydrostat as far as APCR around as default, even though show velocity is a little bit above average, but not the craziest. It's a collector's item, mostly. Mostly. This thing is, I will say, 1.5 thousand bonds. Uh, like a like a 4.5? Yeah, feels like a mutz. Feels like a mutz. But RBFM, Wolverine for the French. Pretty good. <laughs> it is also a free vehicle, but the DPM is crazy. As with the Wolverine as well. The mobility is not crazy, but it's all about the gun. So park into a corner and just out DPM any other vehicles. So the gun's great. The gun is awesome for a tier 5 vehicle, but it's also a premium, don't forget. Uh, this thing is solid, like a 6 out of 10. If you missed out, then tough titty, but it's a very good vehicle. Not as crazy as a Jumbo Persian, but it's good. Yeah, RBFM is good. Moving on to 2020, year of the pandemic. They actually put it under ranked for some reason. I tried to find it, but the news article is jumbled up. It's all the way out here. IS-5, KV-4 Kreslovskis, uh, IS-6 Black, <laughs> Pan-KR, and Chrysler K, the black version, practically. But IS-5 for 10,000 bonds. No, god damn it. This thing got buffed, but holy crap. No, it's not worth 10,000 bonds. It's 1,000 bonds shy of a tier 9 premium, the recent WZ114, even though that vehicle is not great, but also 2,000 bonds shy of a tier 10. It is pretty hefty for this vehicle. I mean, if you're paying like 10,000 bonds for a Skoda T56, we can talk, right? That seems fair. For this thing, it's a collector's item. Also, this was given out in Clan Wars, I believe, but I never played Clan Wars, so I bought it. Surprisingly, god damn it. So yeah, 10,000 bonds. This thing seems way too expensive for this thing. I mean, accuracy is still Russian. Uh, it is the D25T, practically. Mobility is uh, okay enough, but not the craziest. Armor is the same as with the IS-8, except for the turret, practically. So yeah, no, this is not worth 10,000 bonds. Uh, this is more like a 3 out of 10. Alright. It's a collector's item, so if you don't have it, then... Yeah, maybe. This thing, Krizlovsky's KV-4. It's a new vehicle, only featured in the Bond shop originally. You could have gotten it from the Premium shop like a year or two ago, I believe. But this was initially debuted on the Bond shop. It's a KV-4, but not as good as a KV-4. So, yeah, standard Tech Tree KV-4 is slightly better than this thing, but it has better engine power, so it revs up a little bit faster. That's a major difference. The Cupola is weaker. The hull armor is also weaker. So I would say standard KV-4 might be better, but yeah, collector's vehicle, right? I usually seldomly play these things. Mostly go with, you know, broken stuff. <laughs> like the BZ. Or the Skoda T56, but for Russian heavy tanks, yeah, the 252U performs better than this thing, so 10,000 bonds. It's slightly better than the IS-5, it is a little bit more rare, quote-unquote, but doesn't feel good. 4 out of 10. IS-6 Black! <laughs> My first premium tank, 
in World of Tanks was the IS-6 that got in for free after the Japanese medium tank marathon thing, but black version, you can also gotten this for free along with the Schwartz Panzer 58, the black version of the Panzer 58, and the T-34B, the black version, but it's a relic of the past, power crept to hell. <laughs> This was the meta like 10 years ago, but yeah, been power crept for like at least 8 years now. So, IS-6 has preferential matchmaking, but ah, 8,000 bonds compared to a Jumbo Pershing? No. Uh, is it better than IS-5 though? Feels about the same boat. It feels about the same boat. <laughs> 3 out of 10. It's IA6 with a black paint job. Uh, yeah, it feels about the same as this thing. Just This thing is a little bit more rare, but it's more expensive. Ugh. No. Alright. Patent KR. Along with the same boat as the Panzer 58 Mutz. So these vehicles need a buff. Ancient penetration average at tier 8. So, yeah. Penetration sucks. DPM is alright, but accuracy, meh. Armor is non-existent, so horsepower battle ratio is not half bad, it's more like a sniper, quote unquote, but yeah, it's a historically paint job of a pad KR, actually it's more green for the actual vehicle, but uh, yeah, it, need, it needs a buff. 8,000 bonds for this thing is kind of expensive too, it feels like the same boat. How much should I give with the... Mutts, 4.5. I don't know. 4.5 seems high now when I think about it. Crap. <laughs> Alright, let's give it 4.5 as well. If you don't have a American medium tank, fine. It doesn't feel good. Uh, yeah, no. Alright. <laughs> Chrysler K. The GF. I have the non-skin version, because whatever, but... One of the better vehicles, definitely. This was the meta. This was the meta like five years ago. It's very good horsepower per ratio. And DPM is also not half bad. Quick aim time, decent enough accuracy. Penetration might be crap, but spam gold shell to compensate. But armor is also good. Cupola armor is surprisingly bouncy too. But yeah, this thing is good. Is it as good as a Jumbo Pershing? Might be. This might be one of the rare choices you get for 8,000 bonds. It's also pretty good. 7 out of 10. Alright, moving on to 2021. So with this year, Bond Shop update. Only a few vehicles, 4. They're starting to add 2D styles, but nobody cares about 2D styles. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, Alpine Tiger, WZ111. It's uh, IS-6 practically, but for Chinese. So you have the skin. This was fancy. This was similar boat to the Type 59 Gold, in a sense, on the Chinese server. This could make like four times the credits compared to two times the credits for normal premium tanks. But obviously they nerfed it. Same with the Type 59 Gold from Chinese server to the other servers, so it's a relic of the past, so just a skin version of a WZ-111, but yeah, still better accuracy than the Russian counterpart, slightly, better top speed as well. Ah, I mean, uh, it still has preferential matchmaking, which is good, but ah, relic of the past, definitely relic of the past, it's a little bit more rare. Then an IS-6 black, but I would say, how much should I give the IS-6, like 3 out of 10? 4 out of 10. For 8,000 bonds, meh. I mean, play with the T-34-3, right? Yeah, T-34-3 is a better choice. Alright, T-103, the turreted SU-100Y. It's a mean vehicle. It's big. It's not a. It's not a sniper. <laughs> it's a sniper tank. <laughs> so, big ass vehicle with no camo, big gun. It is a 130, if I remember correctly. But yeah, 130. 
or surprisingly lower amounts of alpha. It should be 130, right? 130. Yeah, similar to the SUR-Y, but less alpha than the 490 on average. DPM is still decent. Sniper. Large, boxy of a tank destroyer. Uh, uh, 4.5 out of 10. Yeah, feels okay. Feels not the craziest. I mean, yeah, you have better choices, right? Chrysler K is a much better choice. All right, Sinlac for the French. Oh, French. Excuse me, British. <laughs> it's like a bulldog for the British, practically, with a 20 pounder gun. The gun's performance is good. Spotting is not the craziest. And in the meta of ELC EVN 90, you'll be out spotted. So, it's a decent light tank, but light tanks needs adjustment, right? It is heavily influenced by stuff like the EBRs or the ELC EVN. That thing could outspot anything. So, these need a better gun to be counterbalanced towards the French, but the gun does perform. It's very similar. Very good high explosive round also, as with the Bulldogs, but 8,000 bonds seems high. It is the same price as a premium heavy tank. So light tanks are generally cheaper in gold cost than heavy tanks. So I would say uh, 4.5. Out of 10, this is this will take a while. Holy crap, we're not even halfway through the list. <laughs> IS2 shielded, you could have gotten it for free. Yeah, you could have gotten it for free, but it's an IS2 with shielding. I mean, it's slower, but also like with the recent IS2M in a sense from was it Lunar New Year thing with the token stuff, but yeah, garbage accuracy, it's not as fast as a IS or IS2 so we have space armor but the space armor doesn't do that much not really so for 6,000 bonds eh. <laughs> I mean this is the only initial offering of a tier 7 that we already see that we have seen so far 6,000 bonds seems still kinda high I mean, then again, it's still better than 8,000 bonds for our light tank. Nah, uh, 4 out of 10. If this was like 5,000 bonds or something, right? Maybe. Alright, 2022, they put it into rank as well with the 114 SP2. But all the way down here, T34-3. And that vehicle is much better than a Alpine Tiger or IS-6. So, this also got buff, if I remember correctly. Like, years ago, but... It's a big gun on a T-34, practically. T-34-2. So, provincial matchmaking. This is definitely more, uh, blah, more worthwhile than the IS-6 Black. Yeah, I would say 5 out of 10. Not bad. If you don't have it, not bad. All right, Black Bulldog for the Germans. It's the same boat as with Sinlac, but the high explosive round is good. DPM is good. Mobility could be better, so not the fastest to rev. Also with the camo, but it's all about the gun. In the meta of ELC EVNs, it doesn't really work well, so you'll be outspotted or you'll be a city map like Himmelsdorf I need to play like a freaking medium tank without armor and health and DPM and penetration so yeah moonlighting as a medium tank in city maps but same boat as the Sinlac yeah same boat 4.5 out of 10 and STRV 81 I don't have one but uh, don't need it <laughs> it is very comparable to a Centurion Mark 3, Centurion Mark 1 with the Mark 3 turret, but yeah, this thing with a 20 pounder gun, it's a premium tank, but it's practically a tech tree tank for the Swedes, in a sense. The 5-1 is so much better than this thing, so I think this thing does perform a little bit better 
than a Mutz or Pan KR, but not much, right? The gun does perform a little bit better than the 90mm counterparts, but the 5 1 is so much better because better hull armor and stuff. And mobility too, has a better engine if I remember correctly. British medium tank tier 8, the 5 1. Yeah, this thing is better. Better engine power, better hull armor. This is better of a vehicle, but. Yeah, if you're going to pick out of the bond shop, mm, crap. It is better than the Pan KR. Five? Yeah, okay, fine. Five out of ten. Doesn't feel crazy. Tiger 131. Could have gotten it for free. <laughs> for 5,000 bonds. Ah, no. This is more like 4,000 or 3,000, but. Yeah, no. You could have gotten it for free from watching Twitch and leaving it in the background. So, it's a decent enough of a stock Tiger, like the Japanese heavy tank number 6 or the Tiger 217. But, meh. I mean, it's also like the VK3601H in a sense, but a little bit expensive. More like 3,000 bonds would be worthwhile. This is more like a 4 out of 10. A little bit too expensive for me. Alright, surprisingly 2022 has two iteration of the bond shop. So that's nice. Usually we get like once per year of an update with like four vehicles on average. But yeah, not bad. Fosh 155. Uh, it's a meme vehicle. Originally featured in auctions and black market and stuff but was a tech tree vehicle <laughs> like with the same boat as with the fe25b now it's for bonds at twelve thousand. i mean this thing obviously performs in my opinion than the fe25b a little bit better but twelve thousand bonds for this thing it's better than the three out of ten they give it like three out of ten 4 out of 10, oh. <laughs> so it is a tech tree vehicle, but if you missed out, then tough titty, holy crap, 12,000 bonds for a tech tree tank. I'll give it 4.5. It's a meme cannon, but I feel better about giving up 12,000 bonds for a FE25B183 than a Fosh 155. So the gun's okay, it's scary in some sense, but it's not as scary. As the 183, yeah, not as scary as the bigger gun, but yeah, don't under it didn't get buff from the recent Fosh B update or buffs. Why did why don't they buff this thing with reverse speed and better engine power as well? Surprising, I don't know. <laughs> All right, next up KV5. Don't have it. One of the ancient vehicles on the list. Now the reason I don't have the KV5 for bonds is it is surprisingly cheap for gold. About 7,000 or 6,000 6, gold for a KV-5. It is a same boat as with the IS-6. It is an ancient vehicle. It is good for ramming, but lots of weak spots. R2-D2, mini turrets, and the gun is alright. It has a DPM, but will struggle to penetrate against higher tier targets like tier 9s. It does have preferential matchmaking, but... Still, 8,000 bonds. This thing is cheaper in gold, so it doesn't feel as good in the current meta. And you will get nuked, obviously, by stuff like Skoda T56 or BZs if they aim properly. But it is fun for arcade mode to ram stuff when you have no traction in the winter arcade. But that is practically it. Uh... 4 out of 10. <laughs> Bulldog again. With the Chinese Bulldog. It has a different gun, but I don't have it. <laughs> Slightly different gun, but 76mm compared to a 90, so more rapid firing of a gun. It is in the Chinese tech tree. But mm, Bulldog, like I said, doesn't fit together with today's meta. It does have better engine power, so 31 compared to about 20 horsepower per ratio against the Black Bulldog, but 
you'll be outspotted by ELC, EVN, or sometimes EBRs. But yeah, you will see a lot of ELC, EVN at tier 8. So, same boat with the Sinlac, same boat with the Black Bulldog. So, 4.5 out of 10. <laughs> Panzer IV Schmoll Term. Could have gotten it for free. <laughs> Again. <laughs> if you've been playing on North America server, Tank Rewards was the best on our server. So, we could have gotten a lot of tier 6 premium tanks for free. Each and every month, also. It's okay. It's more of a collector's item nowadays. So, it has preferential matchmaking. I think, no, it doesn't. I thought it has preferential matchmaking. It doesn't. Oh, crap. The gun is more of a tier 5 gun. Tier 5 tank destroyer gun. But, eh, it's alright. Engine power does suck. So, it's more like with the Panzer IV. Hydrostat in a sense, so it is not fast. It is more of a sniper camp in the back and support other tanks, support your heavy tanks or something. Wolf pack in the back, but uh, 5,000 bonds for a slow ass vehicle, too. Nah, I would rather get the Tiger 131. Would I? No, they're about the same. <laughs> Four out of ten. Holy crap. Almost there, folks. Almost there. <laughs> Beijing Opera 113. Oh, it's a 113 with the skin. Now, granted, it does come with Brothers in Arms crew. So, Beijing Opera 13, oh, 113 from 2013, March. But 15,000 bonds for a collector's vehicle that costs only 6 million credits or 5 million when anniversary event comes up or discounts come up but what the hell oh you have to only see it with the the bond shop they don't show you on the comparison page yeah it has the brothers the arms crew that's only positive about this vehicle other than the camo but yeah it's a collector's vehicle <laughs> for actual money uh collector's vehicle where the hell's collector's tanks Collector's tanks. Uh, Chinese. It's a, it's a 113 <laughs> with a skin. <laughs> there you go. The 113 is not bad. It is more like a medium tank, in a sense. Heavily armored medium tank, but I find it decent. It is like a smaller caliber of a 122 compared to a 130 on the 5A, but feels slightly a little bit more mobile. About Maybe slightly a little bit more mobile than the 5A. It's negligible, not that much, but there are some parts space armor on the side, so large medium tank. But 15,000 bonds is. It's crazy. No. No. Like a 3.5 out of 10. Lorraine 40T, original tier 9, becoming a tier 8 premium. I don't have it. Yeah, we should have gotten this for free, right? We should have gotten it like with the FE4202, but no! 8,000 bonds for this thing. Now, it's not bad. It's not a bad vehicle. Downside to this thing is only three-man crew, so missing out the loader for the AMX30 line, but... Uh, DPM is not great, obviously. Auto loader. It is fast, in a sense, but... Paper armor, of course, get nuked by BZ-176s, so don't expose yourself too much, but... Uh, 8,000 bonds for this thing. 5 out of 10. Rare vehicle, T-23 E3. This vehicle was given out during tournaments, I believe. It's not the pre-order bonus, like with the Mutant M6, or the Panzer 54 or the A32 at tier 4 but it's a rare vehicle been power crept to shit <laughs> 76 mm at tier 7 doesn't really yeah doesn't really do much i mean unless it has the speed like with the comet but no doesn't have the engine power or the top speed so doesn't have the 12 degrees of gun depression as with the comet as well 
or the DPM for that matter. DPM is all right, but yeah, this is this is more collector's item. Yeah, really collector's item. So if you have bonds to burn, then maybe yeah. Six thousand bonds. It is tier seven, but I would rather play with the IS two shielded than with this vehicle. Yeah, IS two shielded. At least I can spam gold into tier nines, right? This thing spamming gold with a 76mm does nothing. How much did I give the IS-2 shielded? <laughs> 4 out of 10, holy crap. Yeah, 3.5. Jesus. <laughs> the scores are getting lower and lower. 3D styles for 3,000 bonds. Ah, crap. That's way too much. These are... These are... Alright. No need to explain all of them. These are way too much. If it was like 1,000 bonds or something, fine. Maybe 2,000, but 3,000 is way too much. Way too much. All right, final, final patch. Holy crap, the video is taking forever. <laughs> Just recently, about yesterday or so, new patch for this year with the bond bond shop by bond shot items. They never actually pre-announce it from the common test. Just immediately happens, surprisingly. So. Object 268 version number 5 Practically IS-8 With a large turret A larger gun But Auction item Mostly I feel You would like the 114 SB-2 A lot better than this thing, right? A hell of a lot better than this thing It's about the same cost If you manage to get to gold rank In Onslaught Or could've gotten it for free, but the DPM is not as crazy as other tier 10 tank destroyers, so it has a fully traversable turret, but has some armor compared to the Chinese sniper tank destroyer, but yeah. The gun on this thing performs a lot better. Better DPM, better accuracy, better aim time. This thing performs better with the gun, which is basically what tank destroyers do, right? So yeah, this thing is dramatically better than... The collector's item now, practically, of a Russian tank destroyer, but 15,000 bonds for something of a rare vehicle. It is more rare than an M60 or WZ121B, but it doesn't perform, in my opinion, as an M60 or the 121B. So, ah, 5 out of 10. Oh, crap. This piece of work. It's garbage, alright? Don't be baited by this thing. Oh, it's only 12,000 bonds. Was it 12,000 bonds? 11,000 bonds. 1,000 bonds shy of a FE 25B. You get a tier 9 premium. Ooh la la. This vehicle, this vehicle is a piece of crap. <laughs> Dispersion on this gun sucks ass. Alright, it's almost as bad as the grill 15 you will miss the shots if you're moving or traversing the turret also dpm sucks ass for a tier 9 vehicle it sucks aim time sucks dispersion sucks you will not actually hit anything not really <laughs> also historical references in russian for some reason or whatever but yeah has no camo engine power sucks it's slow armor is Terrible for the hull sides, only stick to the front, but the front is more like a STI in a sense. You have a large cupola right here, and the hull front could be pinned in the lower plate, so yeah, it's it's not great. It is somewhat cheap in a sense compared to a uh, Chieftain T95, <laughs> but the vehicle is terrible. Two out of ten. All right, speaking of goddamn expensive cost, holy crap. This thing from recruitment, in a sense, like you have a friend and you play together as a recruitment vehicle, but outdated penetration, outdated alpha, and average DPM, armor-wise also. Yeah, it's a 90 millimeter. It is a T95 turret, but the hull is a Chieftain-esque of a hull design, so not the craziest. Engine power, top speed, feels mediocre. View range, eh, whatever. 
Camo, about the same as a Patton. Why the hell is this thing 10,000 <laughs> bots? I would rather play with the IS-5, surprisingly, than with this thing. I would rather have a better time with the KV-4 Kravlowski than with this thing. This is a 3.5. Alright, finally moving on to an actual vehicle. Object 252U for 9,000. Surprisingly cheaper than the IS-5. Surprisingly, holy crap. And also better of a meta vehicle compared to IS-5. I have the Defender, it's practically the same vehicle, but... Yeah, 9,000 bonds, feels fine. Same boat with the Jumbo Pershing. Just 1,000 more for this vehicle. Fine. The armor is an IS-7 armor. The turret is more like an IS-8 or IS-6. The cupola is the main weak spot, but... The gun is... Inaccurate, to say the least. But the armor, it's all about the hull armor. So this was the meta... Six years ago? Or something? But it's still a good choice. Still a good choice. For 9,000 bonds. I would say 6.5 out of 10. I gave the Jumbo Persian like 7. Chrysler K. Jumbo Persian. Yeah, 7. Yeah, it's a good choice. Not bad. 9,000 bonds. 6.5. Box tank. <laughs> SU wonder why. It's a meme. Yeah, it's a meme. It's not that good of a vehicle. Compared to other snipers like a Hellcat. No. The gun's powerful. But you'll be spotted. Has no camo. It's a big, it's a big, large, slow-moving, heavy tank without armor, with a big gun. But ah, uh, crap! <laughs> it is a meme. You could have gotten it for free too. <laughs> Lots of tier six premiums. You could have gotten it for free. Uh, three thousand? Really? No way. 5,000? What the hell did I type? 3,000? Bullshit. <laughs> it's 5,000. 5,000, the same as the Tiger 131. 3,000, yeah, definitely. If it's 3,000, then yeah, it's worth. 5,000, uh, really. 3.5. Yeah. It's. Yeah, 3.5. The vehicle's not that great. In today's meta, the vehicle's not that great. More 3D styles. This one you could have gotten it for free <laughs> from watching Twitch, so 1 out of 10. The Swordfish, you could have gotten it for free from Halloween event or like 2 years ago, so 2 out of 10 or so. Ah, 1.5. It's a little bit more rare than Holiday Ops, but WZ 114 style for 2.5 thousand. No, the vehicle sucks, the whole thing sucks. 0 0.5 out of 10. <laughs> and the IS-3 style, you could have gotten it from well-deserved reward shop for tokens. So, one, I mean, the style is cheaper, but 2,000 is still too much, right? 1,000 at max. 500. Yeah, one, one out of 10. Well, there you go, folks. Holy crap. 40 minutes <laughs> of recording the goddamn list. Of bond shop stuff. So, debut back in 2019, right before the pandemic. Right before, almost just before. But it's been five years now, four and a half. Holy shit. And seven different iterations. So, we'll likely see another bond shop update next year around spring or maybe summer. But Wargaming does not have the cojones, the balls, <laughs> to put meta vehicles into the bond shop no way they don't have the actual galls to put stuff like this where the hell is it they don't have the balls to put this thing into the bond shop maybe for 20,000 bonds but then again that would still be pretty aggravating people will still riot if you put this thing into the bond shop for 20,000 bonds yeah people will riot so, people will pay 20,000 20, bonds for this thing. They definitely will. But they, they don't have the balls to put it. No way. <laughs> Stuff like the check heavy tank as well. This is also pretty good. So, yeah, this gun. It's a 130 compared to a 120. 105 for the... This is a 105, right? 
It's a 105. It's not even 122. <laughs> it's an autoloader 130 compared to a single shot 105 or autoloader 105. But goddamn, the difference is crazy. So yeah, Wargaming doesn't have the balls to put the meta tanks. They don't even have the balls to put stuff like the ELC EV in. That thing needs a nerf. This thing needs a nerf. This is so freaking toxic. It freaking budge nudges out all other light tanks at tier 8. This thing is one of the toxic light tanks out there. It's not as bad as an EBR, but it's pretty meta-defining of a light tank. So this is crazy. This is an outlier out there. But Wargaming can also put vehicles from the Russian server. So I like to see stuff like the TST, which is a rapid firing medium tank-esque of a check heavy tank. Lots of DPM, but accuracy sucks. <laughs> Lots of DPM, but accuracy stuff. Also, they have a Turchenyov's KV-4, which is more like a KV-3, so more representative of a tier earlier heavy tank, but also this thing is interesting. As was the AP-58, the Charlord AP-58, which is like a heavier AMX-30 in a sense, but they're a French version of a T-34 heavy tank, practically, but yeah, there's so, so many good choices to pick, but Bond Shop is bottom of the barrel most of the time, so you get garbage choices mostly, but like I said, couple of good choices. Now, about three, so Object 252U, the Jumbo Pershing, the Chrysler K, good choices. Other tanks, out of the meta, power crap, mostly. Collector's vehicle, if you have bonds to burn, then yeah, sure, why not? But yeah, best one, my bias opinion goes Jumbo Pershing. I like the Jumbo Pershing out of all the three better ones, but yeah, I like this vehicle a little bit better than the 252U or the Chrysler K. Simply because I feel comfortable playing more medium tanks than heavy tanks. So, that's just my take. Well, there you go, folks. Holy crap, 50 minutes. <laughs> so, comparing all the Bond Shop stuff, uh, still one of the best features in World of Tanks for a premium tank without actually spending money. But, yeah, you're getting bottom of the, bottom of the barrel most of the time. So, make your choices wisely. But still, I would prefer to see more vehicles added into the list. Like... Low tier gift tanks, like tier 3 or tier 2, if you missed out, for like 500 bots, that would be nice, but so much potential, but at least we have the option. So as always, thank you guys for watching this video, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, I'll see you guys next time, peace. Because I know, that I'll be coming home soon, and yes I know, that I'll be coming home soon With a soldier's eyes With a soldier's eyes